What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic, where in today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is a playtesting of something new that I'm also going to, yeah, sort of include in another episode when it's fully done. But I need you guys' input because I believe that this thing can be a little bit better. But here it is. This is my sniper. Okay, actually sniper is, well, I mean, it's it's supposed to be a sniper, however, it doesn't really have the functionality of it that much. It can still shoot, I will say that, it can actually shoot, and it does it fairly well. However, I'm here to test it, and that's why I've built this little range here. We have some zones and some points out here that are corresponding to the zone that the shot lands in. So we got 12 zones, and all the zones have different colors and different textures, and as soon as I run out of textures, I simply recolor them, as you can clearly tell. And there was seven, eight points. So we go all the way up to 12. And the further you go, the more colorful the zones become. So you know that, yeah, you've hit something more awesome than the last time. And of course, the last zone, just normal wood. And then the goal. So I guess if we hit like somewhere around here then that will be an instant win. However, there's not really going to be much of a competition to this. This is just to see how far this thing will shoot. So no competition so far, but I guess that we can put out somewhat of a community challenge whenever this thing is done. So the one that can shoot the furthest will get something. Like, I I, I don't really know what it is yet, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Maybe there's a prize involved. However, here's how the playtesting is going to unfold. We are going to make our shelves out of different materials, and this is going to be one sniper shot at a time that's going to be loaded in you can see this little chamber up here, that's why this part here is open. And I'm going to test this with basically all of the materials in here. And as you can see here, this is six blocks wide. That's also corresponding to the maximum length that you can get a sniper shot up there. So let's go and check it out. So the way you get up here is basically just to go up onto the seat and then, yeah, losing yourself from it. So I want to talk about a few things here. First of all, the loading mechanism. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of wheels here. And whenever I take out my connection tool, you will be able to see all the bearings. I think there's somewhere around 20, 30 bearings. So that's that's a little bit crazy. And next up, let me just explain the driver's seat here, also all the engines, because we need all these engines to power all the bearings. However, the driver's seat was here originally because I wanted a wheel mechanism that can turn this thing and pivot it up and down. Uh, I have found a different method for doing that, at least pivoting it up and down, because I can't turn this thing as of right now. So yeah, there we go. But uh, this was sort of the job of the driver's seat before, but the thing is just way too heavy to actually lift up. So I'm going to do it this way which is also why uh, this uh, little black support here is here, because that is keeping it in place, along with these two concrete pieces on the side of it as well. So that's basically how I'm going to be controlling the shots, and for right now, that's pretty much all the functionality there is to it. Also, I could maybe make this wooden piece a little bit longer, because this is not much of a stock that you can, you know, I don't even know if this is the actual stock on a gun, but it's not enough support. You want to fill up the chamber, but don't put it in there, because then it's going to connect. So you want to put seven blocks from that yellow thing, there and then release it there so now we have the six blocks and right, so let's pull up here and ready so let's fire it is lost in the chamber can i do something yes yes there we go that's freaking perfect let's see where that landed all right it looks to me it landed here in zone number five actually a little bit over the middle as well so that's quite good i don't know if these numbers are exactly in the middle but they're close enough to it anyway so five is the current record i guess also all these materials here does have different weights so i'm sort of trying to yeah test out the different weights on the different materials and see what kind of shot can work best and i'm just gonna put this thing all the way up so let's see how this goes come on what <clears throat> Okay, well, uh, that, that was not really supposed to happen. I guess concrete goes for zero points. Let's just go ahead and delete that. Obviously, I'm going to test that again because something went wrong. That's also something that I found out is that sometimes things go a little bit wrong in here, and I'm not too sure why. Maybe it's the wheel speed, maybe it's just the physics messing up because there's so much going on, I'm not too sure. Or maybe it's just not that happy about shooting off some of the more heavy materials, but let's just go, okay, so it's lodged in there, it's still lodged in there, there we go, can I do this? Yes, much, much better. Is that also zone five? I think so. Yes, yes it is. So concrete actually made it just a little bit further. I don't know if this thing got hit, like if it landed on top of it and then got over here, but it's definitely a little bit further. So let's try the next material, and in the meantime, I can talk a little bit about uh, the next stream that we're going to be having, which is next weekend, and I'm super excited for it. I don't know if I'm going to be uh, streaming Scrap Mechanic then, but I will definitely be streaming some Rocket League so we can still play some games together. So let's see how the next material does. Oh, we're not even lifted up all the way. Oh, wait, hey, okay, we are. So hopefully this does wonders. Okay, that just popped out completely. Like I said, things go wrong sometimes. So let's go, please. 
That did not look very good. Is that landing on number two? I think it landed on number two. Okay, so it's actually just crossing over to three, but I still think that this one counts as a two because all of these shots are pretty much destined to bounce off a little bit once they hit the ground. So this one's a two. All right, one last time with that material and then I'm gonna move on. So hopefully this will not have any problems. It does have problems. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that. It has some problems sometimes whenever I try to... Okay, there we go. <laughs> It still messes up. I'm not too sure what's up with that. All right, so next up we got the tiles and that is pretty much it. So here we go. Let's pull this thing up right away and ha fire. And that is, whoa, okay. That is not having anywhere near as many problems as the other ones. That was actually a pretty good shot. What I think I saw before was that it actually kind of went into the ground and then bugged out a little bit because it landed somewhere around here. Like, right there. Also, that is incredibly bright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. But, uh, yeah, this is now number five. Once again, ceramic tiles can shoot to number five. Good to know. All right, next up is the bricks, and that should be just a little bit more of a heavy material. It does seem to have a lot more problems than when I playtested it before. And I think that the shot is stuck in there. What the hell? Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing is, nothing is, is, is coming out. I don't know what's up with that, but something's definitely stuck in there. That's okay, though. Why don't we just load up the next shot? Actually, I just want to see if anything has changed whenever I put it down. No, it didn't. Okay, so that thing is still in there, but I want to see if I can shoot the next thing out or maybe even push the both of them out at the same time. I'm going to try just on flat ground first, and that is also stuck. Well, okay, there we go. So I did get both of them. Okay, and that is what I was talking about before, if you didn't see that, but the other one basically flew all the way over here and then landed, like, right below it. So, there is something about it. Yeah, that one definitely calls for a redo, so let's see here, let's just point it all the way up. Also, if you're wondering about the scope, I'm just gonna try to go in here a little bit. I actually made it so that once you're on the seat, then you can sort of see wherever the hell you're trying to shoot. Uh, however, once you aim it up quite like this, you don't have a target at all, which is why I'm using this camera angle instead. Hopefully, yes, 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 maybe Maybe even all the way to number six. I'm not too sure, but I definitely still want to go and check out the score we got. Okay. Whoa, whoa okay. Okay. I just saw that pop out. Okay, so we, we landed on number five, and I think that that happens right there whenever it, yeah, gets caught in the other bricks. That's a little bit interesting, but I guess the more collisions you have, like the more of these blocks are laying around, the more it takes for the game to process it. So I guess that could be a way of sort of initiating the bug. All right, so two materials left, and this time we're checking out metal, because uh, that is the only one in the description that has heavy weight. So I want to see how that one does compared to all the other ones. Um, well, definitely sunk a lot sooner, that's for sure. Okay, so we didn't even cross number two, which kind of sucks, but I guess that's just the way it is then. But I still want to see if I can do it with it again, because like you have witnessed, these things shoot a little bit funny sometimes. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot there. I shot it, but I completely forgot to tilt up the creation itself. So the sniper didn't have any tilt, which means that this thing basically dropped to the ground right away. So let's just go ahead and fix that. Yes, there we go. And perfect. Please shoot. God damn it, it's lost in there again. There we go. Okay, and it messed up. We didn't get any points. You know what? You know what? That is... That's a negative one. So now we have two of those. So I guess it is a little bit random whenever these things work, in a way. But then again, this is the heaviest uh, object in terms of building blocks that you can get. All right, one more time, of course. I'm still gonna try this. Yes, there we go. Much, much better. I think that only landed on number three, but it's definitely better than all the other shots we've had with this kind of material. The metal one landed in the metal zone. Maybe it's magnetic or something. I'm not too sure. But all we have to check out now is the glass block. And that one I'm a little bit interested in. Actually, I don't know why in the hell that would be the most interesting one because then again the only description that it really has is medium weight so there's not much to it but i still want to test it out and see if perhaps that makes the best projectile it is not even leaving the chamber yes it is but i see it sticking out the side right there oh and then it fell yeah like i said some of these things fire a little bit funny sometimes but hopefully this one is going to make up for it it didn't even leave the freaking chamber come on come on yes yes what what? That may even land in number six. Also, I have never made it past number five. So I just want to go ahead and clear that out because I just built these zones to see if the potential was there. I think it still kind of touched it, but uh, yeah. So I want to say that the, the official record here is definitely five. And I'm going to put this map here as a download. And that way you can also maybe make your own take on the rifle or sniper here and then send it to me in case you have improved it so I could maybe review it again. Yeah, one thing that I think I could have done is maybe to tilt the wheels up here so that they were horizontal instead of vertically going down. So maybe that way it would have the friction from both sides rather than just one side, which is, 
Yeah, the one beneath it. That's basically what I'm thinking. Also, if I just drag out my connect tool, then it's hard to see, but you can see that there are two layers of uh, of the bearings up here. And that is basically to make the uh, three outer layers of wheels on both top and bottom uh, basically turn twice as fast. So that is why I have put that there. So yeah, turn twice as fast and that would launch this shot that I would create a little bit further. But yeah, this was basically my sniper and I really love the way that this thing turned out. Also because it didn't really take that long, to be honest. So it's... it's quite good. I mean, I'm really, really quite satisfied with the way that this thing turned out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.